Hi, Deirdre McNamara here again. This is the third tutorial for uh, PowerPoint 2010. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with SmartArt that's new in Office 2007 and 2010. So I've chosen um, the layout of a slide, this one here, which is the title and content layout uh, for this slide. So I'm just going to put in a title and I'm going to do um, menu. And in this one here, instead of clicking here to add text, what I'm going to do here is click on the insert smart art, that's the little green folder there, and click on that one there. Now, when you come in here first, uh, it gives you all of them. The one I would like to look at um, is, for example, list. Uh, list it down here, and uh, maybe I'll go with uh, this one here. I'm going to choose vertical chevron. Uh, as an option. So I'm choosing vertical chevron, that's this option in here. When I click on it, you can see I've got, uh, that's the type of layout I'm getting here. So I click on OK. Now, um, I would like to work not in the actual slide, but in the pop-out uh, box over here. It's much easier not to work in here, but to work out over here. So in here, I'm going to do, um, for example, starters. Now, most people would normally just press enter, and that's not correct, because that'll start creating new boxes out here. So I can either click with my mouse onto the next one, or I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. So for starters, I could have, for example, soup, spelt correctly. And again, using the arrow keys, don't press enter, use the arrow keys to move down. And we have solid. And again, arrow keys to move down again. So soup and salad, and then we have mains, arrow key again, and we'll have beef, and arrow key down, chicken. Now, I actually wanted a third one there, and there's no space. So if I press enter, you can see it creates another bullet point for me here. Um, so uh, chicken, beef, and fish. Okay, arrow key again to go down to the next one. Dessert. How many S's there are? Dessert. Dessert, is that right? Um, arrow key down again, and we'll have cake and pie. Okay. Um, actually, I'd like um, another one. I'd like a fourth one down here. Some of these layouts will allow you to have a fourth or a fifth one. Some of them won't. Um, so I'll just try this one here. So if I press enter, I need to move back out to a higher level. Um, so if I click on promote, you can see it actually allows me to uh, create another little triangle down here, and we'll go tea and coffee. And we can, again, I'm moving in and out, promoting and demoting in here. And we'll have um, English tea or um, uh, latte. Okay, so um, this is um, this vertical chevron is the particular one I chose here. I can actually change even at this stage uh, and say, well, actually, that doesn't really look great. There's an awful lot of space over here that I'm not really using. So maybe I might try this layout here. I think, oh, yeah, that might look a bit better. And you, if you choose, click in here, you can just temporarily try out um, the different options uh, available to you. Um, and just choose whichever one you think uh, is most appropriate uh, for the text that you need to put in. Now, it's still a very um, plain color scheme in use at the moment. To change the colors, I can move in here. So, so click on Change Colors, and I can change over the color scheme. Um, and if I don't like even those options, I can go to Recolor Pictures. Uh, and again, I prefer to just choose some of the default ones here, are usually quite acceptable. Now, this is the color scheme. This is how the shapes actually look. So for example, if I choose that one, and wait a few seconds, you can see they've got a slightly rounded edge here. If I click on the bottom of that, you can see I get some fairly fancy options. Um, that are quite nice. And even at this stage, again, I can change over to different layouts. Um, and you can see it changes over the look uh, of the actual uh, slide. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take a look at working with photographs just to see what's new in Office uh, 2010. So I need to insert a new slide. Again, these aren't the normal buttons. I need to get back to the normal buttons, so I click on the Home tab here. So click on Home, click on New Slide, and this time I'll choose a title only slide, which is this one here. So title only, and I'll just say um, photo. Okay, now I need to insert a photograph now. So I'm going to click on the insert tab here. So insert and picture. I've already saved this picture um, onto my uh, documents. And if I click in here um, into my pictures and go down into sample pictures, and there's George Clooney. So let's select George Clooney and insert. Now that photograph at the moment is too large. So I'm going to first of all, I'm going to shrink it down by moving to a corner, getting that two sided arrow, clicking and dragging down. Now I want to position this photograph in the center. So I click into the center of it and drag up. Now I can put on all sorts of uh, uh, shapes or styles on this photograph. Again, it's in the Format tab. If you're in the Home tab, you need to just make sure you move over to the Format tab. Sometimes that comes up automatically for you. I can change the shape of it by clicking into the circle, or I can put on a border by clicking on this one here. And you're thinking, oh, actually, if I could have a pink border on that, that would be particularly nice. So in here, Picture Border, um, I'm thinking, oh, there's no pink in there. Um, so if I go to more outline colors and go to pink and click on OK, I get this nice pink border on the outside edge. Um, now, if I'm thinking, actually, I don't want to see as much of the uh, jacket uh, as that, I can crop the picture. So if I click on the crop option over here, I'm on the format tab. Uh, I don't know what that error message was. So I'm on the format tab and click on crop and crop and I can just reduce the amount in there and maybe I don't want as much of that and clip it in to that and then click away and I now have reduced uh, the shape of it. Um, I can do some other fancy stuff um, um, for example um, with George selected here if I go to crop and I click on crop to shape and if I'm very romantic I click on the heart and there's my George. Okay, that's the end of that video.